Hey everyone, today we're going to be checking out the Atomic Base Box. The Atomic Base Box is a full-featured preamp and DI. It includes a 4-band EQ, which can be selected between a 4-band EQ a 3-band EQ with sweepable mid-range, or a 3-band EQ with selectable frequency and Q filter for the mid-range. This pedal also includes a compressor, which you can select between a regular compressor controlling threshold and ratio, or select a leveler or limiter depending on how you play and what kind of sound you want. Another feature on this pedal is the amp and cab sim. It comes stock with three presets that you can select via this toggle switch, which you can edit these via a Mac or PC editor, which comes free with the pedal, and you can change the amp, the cab, cab or both, and you can also change the way that it outputs via the XLR or quarter inch. Depending on your gig situation or recording setup, you can select amp and cab for your XLR output and a direct DI sound for your quarter inch. Any combination of these you can select via the PC or Mac editor. It also features an auxiliary input and a headphone output for standalone practice. The last main feature of this pedal is the boost section. It has a separate foot switch for the boost ability. And what this does is add a large amount of gain to your signal without adding too much of a volume boost. So with the boost, you can kind of control the amount of gain you want with this knob here. And it has a three-way toggle switch that you can select the type of overdrive that you want for your sound. Using this pedal for a couple days in my studio, I've noticed that I've become a big fan of the programming the outputs because I can get a dry signal out of the parallel output and then program two different amp sounds of clean and dirty on the quarter inch and XLR. So now when I go into mixing and kind of figure out what kind of sound is going to work for the track, I know that I have those three different sounds with the same bass take all in one pedal. So that's just a really powerful feature that I think is the biggest strength of this pedal, that paired with the boost drive section, which sounds really, really good. I found the EQ to be really strong and simple and the frequencies that they chose and options they chose there is really smart. And finally the compressor was surprisingly simple and easy to use and didn't sound too distracting except at very extreme settings which I think everyone that uses a compressor knows not to do that. If you guys are interested in this pedal please visit Atomic Amps on their website here and linked in the description below. If you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.